The vast Atlantic Ocean was the stage for a thrilling maritime drama in 2015. On one side stood the mighty USS Theodore Roosevelt, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the pinnacle of American naval power. On the other, the French submarine Sophia, a veteran of the seas, prepared for a daring mission. This was no ordinary training exercise. It was a test of stealth, strategy, and the evolving nature of naval warfare. The objective was simple. The Sophia had to sink the Roosevelt. The Roosevelt possessed an array of sophisticated anti-submarine defenses and a fleet of escort ships. However, the Sophia had a few tricks up its sleeve. The tension was palpable as the Sophia dove beneath the waves, disappearing into the vast expanse of the Atlantic. The outcome of this encounter would send ripples through the world's navies, challenging long-held assumptions about naval dominance. The Sapphire, true to its name, which means sapphire in French, adopted the stealth of its namesake Gemstone. It slipped beneath the waves, becoming a phantom in the deep. Their strategy relied on exploiting the ocean's natural properties. They used layers of water with different temperatures, known as thermoclines, to mask their acoustic signature. These layers acted like underwater curtains, bending sound waves and making it difficult for the Roosevelt sonar to pinpoint the Safir's location. The Safir's captain, a seasoned veteran with nerves of steel, employed a combination of patience and guile. Days turned into nights as the submarine stalked its prey. Every crew member alert, listening for the telltale signs of the Roosevelt's fleet. The ocean, typically a place of serene beauty, had transformed into a battleground of nerves and whispers. The USS Theodore Roosevelt, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, is a symbol of American naval power. Commissioned in 1986, this behemoth displaces over 100,000 tons and can carry up to 90 aircraft. Its nuclear reactors provide virtually unlimited range, making it a formidable force for projecting power across the globe. The Sophia, on the other hand, is a Rubis-class nuclear attack submarine. Commissioned in 1984, it is smaller than the Roosevelt, displacing just over 2,600 tons. Armed with torpedoes and Exocet anti-ship missiles, the Sapphire is a silent hunter, designed to take on even the most heavily defended warships. The Roosevelt is a floating city, a symbol of conventional naval power, while the Sophia is a stealthy predator lurking in the depths. Their encounter highlights the diverse challenges of naval warfare, where size and firepower do not always guarantee victory. The outcome of the exercise was a shock to many. The Sapphire, using its stealth and cunning, successfully penetrated the Roosevelt's defenses, achieving a simulated kill on the carrier and several of its escorts. This bloodless victory sent shockwaves through the US Navy, forcing a reassessment of anti-submarine warfare tactics. The exercise underscored a crucial lesson. Even the most powerful warships are vulnerable to stealthy and determined adversaries. The Sophia's success served as a stark reminder that complacency can be a fatal flaw in the ever-evolving world of naval warfare. The 2015 war game between the Sophia and the Roosevelt is a microcosm of the changing dynamics of naval warfare. The rise of advanced submarines equipped with sophisticated sensors and weaponry poses a significant challenge to surface fleets, even those as powerful as the US Navy. Today, the world's oceans are becoming increasingly contested spaces. Countries like Russia and China are investing heavily in their submarine fleets, recognizing their potential to disrupt maritime trade and challenge naval dominance. Understanding the lessons of the Sophia Roosevelt encounter is crucial for navigating this complex landscape. In the depths of the ocean, silent and unseen, the future of naval warfare is being shaped.